Hey guys, so today I just wanted to film a weekly check-in video on my budget for the week of August 2nd through August 8th. And so I have all of my expenses here. Well, not expenses, but purchases that I made throughout um, the first week of August. And then I do have a couple of things. Um, I actually made these purchases on Wednesday the 8th but I'm not gonna pay them until the 9th because I did have to put them on my credit card because I did not budget for those expenses. Um, I won't be filling out the sinking funds yet. So I'll be filling out this area and then I will put um, probably, let me see. I don't know maybe I'll put the total that I spent or put um, the amount that I went over in red and then the amount that I actually paid in green I don't know but I'll fill out my second weekly budget as well all right so I'm gonna use the red pen to mark if I went um, over any categories for this part um, maybe I'll mark it on here, but I'm not sure. I'm depend, I don't know if I'm going to use the green yet, just because I don't want there to be too many colors, and this already kind of signifies that, like, I stayed within budget, the black, so. Let's just go through and total it up for groceries. Groceries is anything that's in the purple. So that is $3.45 that I spent on Sunday, $55.94 on Monday, and $7.78 on Monday as well. So I went over by a little bit because my weekly budget is only um, $40. Oh, well actually I didn't go over because my budget is only $40, but then I combine this with my boyfriend's money, so it's actually $80. So I wonder how I'm going to... Maybe this will just serve more as a tracker. Because really, here, when I put down $200 in groceries, I will pay out $200 because I take that out, put it in my cash envelopes, and then anything that is saved in this category, I use it in a different category at some point. So, Or if I grab myself coffee one day or something like that. So there's that. Um, I'm actually going to include my boyfriend's money in the remaining. So I'm going to do 80 times 5, which is $400. And then 400 minus 6717, which means that we have $332.83 remaining. And then for eating out, um, on Friday, eating out was green, so 428 plus 528, whoops, plus 731, plus 1599, plus 558, 38.44, which is way over what I should have spent. My budget is only $20. So 20 times 5 equals 100, 100 minus 38.44 is $61.56. Alright, now let's do couponing. Couponing is the blue, so we've got $7.94 plus 3455 plus 1520 plus 450 and so that is 62.19 which is way over and so my couponing budget is only 100 again so that's 37.81, but 
what I did was I took some money from groceries and combined it into this and I took my health and beauty and clothing amounts for this week and I put it into this category so even though this is going to be negative down here it's not going to matter because like all of this is going to cancel itself out and then my unbudgeted I think was yeah I just bought some school supplies this day so that was just four dollars and six cents and then um I don't put any more remaining because that stuff I don't budget for so so those are my totals for the first week of August and then let's see how I did compared to this budget so um let's see how I want to do this I paid this so I could probably just check off the stuff I know I put in so got that done got that done got that done oil change I put that away I put that away my couponing money I will write that in red 6219 so that's just how much I spent in total showing that I went over budget by 4219 um, stickers let's see uh, those are in hot pink and I did go a little crazy on the sticker stuff because there was a sale and I had some extra money this paycheck because I worked overtime. So this is going to be $45.89. Not too bad. Over budget. And then my student loan, I paid $50. I didn't buy any clothes. So I'm gonna put zero here, but um, I have no more money left in my clothing cash envelope, so I did spend it all. It just went into a different area. Um, eating out, I spent $38.44. So I went over budget in a lot of areas, but I got everything paid for. Um, gas, I think I only spent $21 in gas, so. See where is my gas? Uh, 2083 actually. So I'll put that in green because that was under. And then groceries. I'm just gonna divide that in half. 33.58 is what I'm gonna. I'm just gonna count that as 33. So I was actually under budget. On groceries so um, I'm gonna put at the bottom some unexpected expenses that I had you might see my head at this point so this week I had to buy medicine for myself and my dumbass boyfriend over here he decided to pick me up an extra inhaler so I had to spend an extra $14 and I wasn't expecting to spend so so that cost me $27.33. And I had to put an extra $10. I had to put that on my credit card. And then because I didn't budget for that, going forward I will be because I'll probably still I'll probably be on the same medication, so I'll know how much those are. And then I did buy my cash dividers. Um from a store so I'm just gonna write those down because she had them out of stock for a while and then once I saw that she had them back in stock I wanted to go and grab them because I really hate not having a system for my cash envelopes so those only cost me $14.75 for nine um, like categories so that's actually a pretty good deal in my opinion so I just wanted to mark those at the bottom to show that I had to put these two things on my um, credit card. So now we're going to get into week two budget. I'm going to take these out because they're annoying me. So 
I'm going to start it off in the same way. My income this week is $378.09. And then my expenses so we've got groceries which is the same forty dollars then we've got gas which is going to be the same as 25 and then we've got eating out, which is still 20. And then we've got health and beauty. Um, clothes. Debating between 50 and $60, so I'll have to see on that. And then my student loan, I'm actually breaking up the last $50 that I want to pay on it in this month. I'm breaking it up between um, the last four weeks of the month. So this is actually only going to be $13. I'm just going to be putting that into my savings account until I have it all saved up. Um, I don't know if I budgeted any money for stickers. I think I am just because I want to get some non Etsy stickers just to do like an affordable spread video. And then I need um, couponing. Let's put down. I'm actually going to start budgeting for newspapers as well. So I'm going to put $24.50 here. And then um, we need the gym, five, and then the oil change, which is also five. And then we need apartment savings. My credit card, which this is just the two transactions that I put on it from last week that I'm waiting to get posted so I can pay them off immediately. And then Amazon Prime, which is always 20. So let's see where this gets us and then decide where to go from there with all of my other categories. All right, so. We've got 40 plus 20 plus 25 plus 13, 24, 50 plus 5 plus 5 plus 20, 378.09 minus 150, 250. So for the apartment, yeah, I wanted to save 100. So that knocks out 100 of that. And then the credit card, I need to pay. 4208 83.51 I did just spend like $26 so I'm just going to subtract that out because I already spent that money and so I don't want it to count I bought some stuff for one of my planners that they were having like a 50% off deal on so I hopped on that and just bought it right away once I got paid so um that leaves me with not a lot of money to work with let's see what i want to cut back on so <laughs> it looks like i'm only going to be hmm <laughs> 
So I've got 57.51. Maybe I was planning on buying myself some bras this week because I need them, but maybe I'll just put $25 away. And then after that, the next week comes. Oh, and I wanted to put, I kept forgetting to do this. I'm just gonna take out $3 for my medicine. Just for, like, I don't really know how much it's gonna cost. Just because I, I get my inhaler um, randomly because I don't really take it how it's meant to be taken. So I'm just gonna save up $3. Then if I ever have to go to the hospital and get extra medicine, I have the money set aside. So let's just take out the $3 just for this purpose. So maybe I'll put, let's say I put 25 in clothes. I put 10 in health and beauty like I normally do. Then I put 15, that'll work. So I'll just save up for the clothes, for the bras that I wanna get. I'll get them next week. I'll put 15 in stickers cause I wanna go to Michael's tomorrow and get myself some stickers. So let's add all of this up. I've got 40, okay. 40 plus 25 plus 20 plus 10 plus 25. 347.50. Okay, this has to be wrong. I don't know why how I keep adding these things up wrong. Oh wait, I took out that $26, so that changes it a little bit. I forgot about that. And then we're gonna add 20, well, this is just gonna be 347.58. And then I'll just have an unbudgeted expense today. Three forty-seven fifty-eight. Then you subtract out the two. You get thirty fifty-one. All right. So there's my budget for week two, and then I'll just do the same thing, write in the amounts next to it, or the check marks. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and you'll tune back in next week for when I do the week two budget.